Boys, how am I going to get the Jedwood? Well, first of all, you're going to have to get gel, you're going to get it moose, you're going to get it in your hands, you're going to go shh. Right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side, side, side. We're talking breaking gravity levels. Okay, and then do I do I do the hairdryer thing? I'm all, yeah. look, I'm almost there. I'm almost getting it. Yeah. Okay. And then you're gonna get a razor. You're gonna shave the sides. Shave and the then you've got the Jedward, and that's how it goes. Amazing. You're gonna a sick finish, and you're gonna walk down the street, and you're like, yeah, check it out. And people are gonna go to you. You got the Jedward. You're gonna be like, no, I got a new cool hairstyle. The George word. Hello and welcome to Little Brother. Now we may look like butter wouldn't melt, but we've got Big Brother by the short and curlies. And throughout the show, we'll be revealing these squeals firsthand. As always, keeping it real, making loads of noise, and generally being rather but hyped. It's our loyal BBLB audience, everybody. How are we doing, gang? We're all right. We're all right. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, now you are in for a treat this Sunday lunchtime. Hang on. Uh, as sharing our studio space, we've got two of the biggest names of 2009. One of them is called John, one of them is called Edward. Together they are John and Edward, everybody! <laughs> what is the The real winners of this year's X Factor. It's time to face John Edward! Yeah. You should be inside the beer. We're going to so be, uh, be hearing from Jedward in just a few minutes' time. Before that, though, it's time for BBLB's Hot News. <laughs> so, first up, having smoked themselves silly, Jonas is the only housemate with any fags left, huh? Oh. Something sulky, soccer-loving Sov can't stomach. 13 cigarettes a day. Between us. Like, total. OK. Sweet. Why are you going to make yourself go short and let them have some? What's the point of that? Because a smoker understands the smoker. Jonas, can I have my um, three cigarettes for tomorrow now? You can't. Uh, you remember the egg? Please. You remember the egg? Huh? You remember the egg? Come on. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Please. Can I have one of them? But then? you can have a, a cigarette. Oh, Jonas! Oh, Jonas! Tune in tomorrow to see Jonas getting a wedgie and having his dinner money stolen. Uh, <laughs> next up, Vinny and Dane mulled over the Reedinator's future yesterday. Will he keep Katie or will he pay the ultimate price? See what we did there? Alex isn't a clever dude, but sometimes some things he's a bit clued up on. I feel sorry for him. He's going to just get chewed up. Absolutely chewed up. She didn't want him coming on here. She didn't. Well, she said, what are you coming on here for? And his answer was... I'm famous now. <laughs> I'm really wondering whether his bags are backed and out when he gets out of it. He's a lovable prat. <laughs> it's anyway, it's yeah, it is, yeah. He's a bit like a bright orange Homer Simpson. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and at 7.30 last night, Big Brother found the most ingenious way of revealing nominations yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's going to be a long night. Great misfortune. You've been nominated for eviction and will face the public vote. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> You've been nominated for eviction and will face the public vote. Oh. It's girls' nights out, isn't it? Oh, Sobs up again. I've got a cookie, everybody. I've got a cookie. Uh, here we go. I wax bum. Huh? <laughs> that all about? I think Scott Mills left it here. Uh, and, uh, and in breaking news, another task has gone in the house which I hear involves Sov getting covered in cat food, everybody. Happy days. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Oh, no, cat food. Oh, did you see Vinny's face there? That's nasty. Uh, and in even more breaking news, apparently after a week of assassinating people's vibes, Stevie B has got some vibes of his own going down. Yo. All right, 
right, baby doll. I gotta break out. Oh, here, check it out. Check it, check it out. I think it's that corner, homie, homie, homie. So, peace out. Imagine parties that must go down over at Ivana's crib, don't oh, Yeah, I know. The tops of these things are dope. Is that sick or what, dude? Yo, dog, yo, dog. Put your crown on, dog. Oh. I'm freaking whack. Keep it real. Yo, dog, whack. Check it, check it out. Sick, dope. Dog. What does that mean? Big B, keep it real. Don't go changing to try to please Stevie B. You know what I'm saying? What a nightmare! Uh, that's it for the news. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, boys. Thank you very much for coming on BBLB. Give them a big round of applause. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hey, guys. Huh? Are we not? Are we not loving? Are we not loving to let BBLB, guys? I think it's great because like all the celebrities, like you see them not, like normally as being celebrities, and then you get. Like, I want to give a shout out to my big brother, Kevin. Okay, but anyway, it's so big. cool, okay, because like we're on the show, okay. Like, oh, did you just give your big brother a shout? Yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. I love that. Okay. Uh, well, John's I... my bigger brother because he's older. Yeah, uh, but like ten minutes. Right. Okay. Ten minutes, and you hold five fingers up. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> no, no, because like no, I think I was chilling here. I had like one hand there, so I just went like that. But I meant to go like ten. Uh, now, boys, <laughs> what what are you up to at the moment? Uh, at the moment, we're at home every day, sitting down, looking at Celebrity Big Brother live. Of course you are. No, we're not. We're at, like, performing, no, we're doing not. crazy stuff. We're, like, going to meet all our fans every single day, doing meet and greets, doing so many different shows. We've done about 60 shows since we come off that And we're doing loads of other stuff, but I don't think we can say, but it's supposed to be a surprise. So, yeah, when you go, oh, my God, they did that. Check right. us out on Wednesday. Uh, uh, now, when, when you went into X Factor, did you ever think you'd be as famous as you are now? We're not famous. Britney Spears is famous. Yeah, like, just in Tim, like, they're I think they're pretty famous, famous don't you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, guys. Nice. And it's kind of cool because, like, we go out like, to all these petrol stations and everyone's a picture with us. And they're kind of cool. Every single person comes up to us and goes, um, can I have a picture for my daughter? And you then they just didn't put it as a screensaver. And you're like, like, okay. Do you not mind me being cheeky? It's, like, it's not a big deal signing an autograph or like taking a And then picture. a queue forms. And you're like, OK. Like, say you could be in a superstore. Queues, queues at the petrol station. No, a queue for people to take pictures. I think this is rock and roll, isn't it? They're having a lot of fun. And it could be anywhere. Like, you could have... And then we signed like a couple of hundred autographs at the beginning of the day. And then we're just like, we're working on a queue, like a down low, going into the thing. We have our hoods up. And then we're like, can I have an autograph? And you're like, here you go. Right. I guess what the other day, okay? No, we were staying in a hotel and by ourselves, with no security, we put our hoods on, sneaked in down to, down to a shop. A shop. <laughs> Having the time of your lives, you say? Yeah, we, and we bought food, and so only one person recognised us. Wow. So hey, that's, George, a one, that's a one person recognising them story, guys. I liked it. I hope you did too. Uh, were, you, uh, were you surprised by the evictions on Friday? I know. I feel that that's just, it's just the public who vote, vote for the people, and if they, they like the people they want off is gone. So like, I think that's just the way it goes. It's kind of like, cool because think about it. It's like people living in your TV, and then people are like, "Whoa, I want to vote that guy off," and then they vote it off, and you're like, "What the oh, hell?" Oh, look! Hang on a minute. I've only looked. There's only Holly Willoughby over there. <laughs> Holly. Holly. <laughs> Were you surprised to see Heidi go? Yeah, I was surprised. I thought Lady Sov should have gone. I know. Well, she's yeah. been quite annoying the last few days. She has been quite annoying. Yeah, so right right right. and also I can't believe the love affair has been split up with Jonas and Katia. He's I got know. it so bad. Put her back in. I know. Well, I, I, you know, I think that's going to run and run that one. Don't worry I about it too much. Oh, uh, oh. How, how does it feel to get voted off at a big show like X Factor? Because I'm sure these guys are going to feel the same thing when they come out of here. How does it feel? I think you just like go on the show and go, wow, like you did so much in the show, and like you just be grateful for what you've done. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, 200,000 people will audition and you like got on the show, so it's amazing. It's kind of cool because think about it, like, before this, we were just like normal guys, went to school, and now that like everyone knows, like, it, everyone's it, like, hey, John Edward, I'm like, who are you? What, what I meant more was, was <laughs> what, what's the feeling like when you, when you come out of something when you might have been hoping to win? There's guys in there who want to win yeah, Celebrity yeah. Big Brother, and then they're going to come out early. Are they, they going to feel a little bit low? Did you, did you feel a bit down in the dumps think, at I all? Think, or? We're just like looking forward into the future. And so I think the thing about them is that they shouldn't get zoned into the whole thing. Like, oh my god, I'm on Big Brother. Because then when it's over, you're like, what am I supposed to do? Because you got to realize they're a massive pile of them. They're all just sitting here smoking and doing whatever in the in the Big Brother house, okay? And they all got to realize only one of them's going to win. And like, it could be any of them. You know what I mean? Like, they all just got to change their attitude. Who's your Who's your favorite left in the house? Um, uh, I think Vinny's cool. I think I think uh, I think they're all cool in their own different way. I think 
Eva I don't know, I don't know cool. I think Stephen's cool. You like Stephen? Yeah, I think Stephen. Yeah. You like Stephen? Because he's like, Holly, he, he loves Guy. Holly, loves they guy. like everybody. Who do you like? I like Cisco. Yeah. Really? I love him. Oh, he's just imagine so you cute. dancing around your bedroom Bring to the thong the song. song. When he, <laughs> ten when, years ago. Not in a thong. When he was uh, dancing with Ivana Trump the other night, it was oh. the best thing I've ever seen in my life. No, you're absolutely right, it was. Uh, all right, well, listen, give him a big round of applause. And a big round of applause for Holly as well. Hi, guys. Hi, uh, so, it's, uh, it's time for a break, but make sure you join me in part two where Katya and Heidi will be joining me in the studio. We'll see you after the break. Yay. Welcome back to our BBLB Jedward special. Here on BBLB, we are so devoted to all things Big Brother that we have teams of poor saps who sit up all night watching every single little thing that happens in the house. Sometimes these poor saps notice weird things going on, weird things that we think need to be gotten to the bottom of. So sit back and relax. It's time for Lamb Investigates. Right. Now, uh, after a pretty calm start to the series, the housemates had their first big kickoff at the weekend, and it was a blinder. Now, yeah, Vinny was demanding people get fired. How about that? Uh, and Stephen even threatened to take off his microphone and go on strike, everybody. Ooh. What could have caused such an upset? I hear you cry. What could have caused such an upset? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> it's vacuum gate, ladies and gentlemen. Have a little look at this. The spitting dirt out. I'm not getting involved. I'm going to throw the thing in a minute. The spitting dirt out. That's a disgrace. That's worse than the other one. That's worse than the other one, Steph. If we're going to do something like this, yet, see, I'm not wearing this now. Now I won't wear this. Very simple. And we sit right here and tell them, we don't participate in tonight's episode. We're all agreeing that we're going to sit here and refuse to give you your show tonight because you haven't given us a proper hoover for whatever reason. I've got a broom here, look, with a screw in it. With a screw in it. You think, that is... Satisfactory, because it ain't. Oh, he's not happy, is he, old Vinny? Oh. Losing the plot. Uh, now, we want to get to the bottom of this, don't we, everybody? Yes. Uh, we've got a couple of rugs with some stuff on them, and we actually have the apparently non-working vacuums from the house in a live TV first. <laughs> We're going to test them out and see what all the fuss is about. This is exclusive, everybody. It's live vacuuming. Uh, first off, and I've got this brand at home. I know how they should work, let me tell you. I am nutty for a bit of hoovering. Uh, we'll turn it on already. I feel the suction's not quite right. But you know what? It's doing the job, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Vinny, what's wrong with you? It works just fine. Right, let's move over here. Going for the upright, a bit more old-fashioned. Let's see if this one works. It's on. Let's see how we go. Oh, just, just pushing it around. Not happy with that. Uh, so Vinny, Vinny was, was half right, wasn't he, guys? Maybe somebody should get the sack. Uh, I think that's case solved, isn't it? Bang, have some of that. Now, uh, this week, uh, we're going to be doing some, uh, some investigating on behalf of one Mr Alex Reed. Now, whilst in the house, he's been banging on about being misrepresented by the press. Oh, nobody understands me. I'm always in the press. <laughs> they even said I'm a cross-dresser. Whatever gave them that idea? <laughs> oh, you gave them that idea. Uh, now, he's also banging on about how the press accuse him of being gay. I wonder why they thought that. I did a magazine article in OK saying I'm gay. Did you, bye. I'm very happy. <laughs> Media manipulation, you say? And now to help us get to the bottom of this, we've got top journalist Patrick Strudwick on the phone right now. Patrick, are you there? I'm there, George. Hello, sir. Uh, do you think Alex is being misrepresented? Oh, no, it's hilarious. I mean, he's even his own mother says he's naive and gullible and he, she doesn't know whether he's got the savvy to cope with the, with the, with the press attention. Thanks for the support, Mum. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, he, he's, he's a baby in celebrity terms. He's only been around for a few months in the public eye. Do you, and do you he, think he feels a problem then with, it, with his naivety? Well, I think so, because I don't think he's kind of grasped 
what the point of um, newspapers and magazines is, and that's to kind of make good stories and, and sell issues. Right, and OK, so, so I'm assuming Alex is, is pretty much a dream come true for guys like oh, you. Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, yeah. he's got everything you could possibly ask for. When, when we discovered that he was a cross-dresser, there, was a, there were whoops of joy that went up in the office. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, but because, yeah, he's an absolute gift. But... And, and actually, the fact that he's he's so naive is is a is, is a gift too, and particularly for for this show because he just he, he just doesn't he just doesn't realise how silly he sounds. And I think you know, in a year or so's time, when he's been around a bit longer, he'll look back and cringe because all the other housemates are just looking at him, saying, "Yes, we know the so press can be difficult. Get over it." How do you how do you think he should deal with his fame? What's he doing wrong? Well, I think he should take lessons from his girlfriend. Right, OK, because she deals with the press pretty well, doesn't she? she Georgia knows exactly how to work. She might not be his girlfriend when he gets out, though. <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but she, she knows how to drip-feed little morsels of information to the press in order to get maximum exposure and the most amount of money. She's, she's an absolute genius. Uh, media manipulator. So, so then, in short, really, Alex isn't being misrepresented. He's, he's well, he's misrepresenting himself, really, isn't he? Y yeah, absolutely. He, he he does need to stop whinging because it's really not very appealing. Have we have we not just solved another case, everybody? <laughs> hey, can I have some of that? Thank you, Patrick. Also, George, one more yeah. thing. Please don't give Jonas the Hoover. There's no telling what he might do with that. Don't give Jonas the Hoover. All right, thank you very much. Go well, mate. <laughs> Uh, anybody ready for some more Jedward? Yeah. Of course you are. Uh, but where could they be? In the, in the Big Brother house camera runs, you say? Hello. Hello, boys. Hey, guys, okay, backstage, George, we're okay. backstage right now, okay? And everyone is really getting really creative. If you ever want to make a clothesline, Steve is after getting two hangers and cling film and after making a Like, I think line. that, like, it's so cool, okay? Think about it. It's check like, it out, check it out. Okay, look, they're all just sitting there and they don't know we're here. I think it's kind of weird, guys, because everyone's outside and they're all trying to keep warm. Why don't they just go inside? They're all, like, with a little fur and I don't get what's happening. Like, I think they're all chilling there right now and they don't know that we're here. They you might sense I'm that we're here, but they don't the know question. that we're here. Like, it's so weird. Can smell the coffee that, that Ivan is drinking. Yeah. I think I think that they're all drained. Okay, they're all okay, very guys, tired. Kind of weird. Okay, you guys are back in the studio. We are here live in the Big Brother house. I'm John, and He's I'm Edward, and we're reporting to the Big Brother house. All we can see. Okay, right guys, now. okay. There's like a mic. What, what what do they look like close up? Do you like do you like the look of Stephen? I, I think they all look. Well, you can see the work. It feels so you weird. Okay, because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. You guys get. Has he been it. has he been killing the vibe in there at all, Jedward? I know. He I, loves slaying it. I just want to I just want to knock and say, guys, don't knock. Yeah, no, not no, we're not going to knock. <laughs> imagine, oh, shh. imagine if we knocked and we're like, what was that? What was that? Okay, we're not going to knock. knock, knock okay, who's guys. There? <laughs> oh, how we how we laughed, eh? I think everyone's uh, really posing uh, on the ground right now. And what what's what's Ivana doing? Ivana um, right now is just chilling, okay, looking cool, okay. I think and, and then who else is that? Oh my god, who is that? I feel they're all posing. They all know exactly we're here. They can feel the sense. They can go, my spidey sense, they're tinkling that John Edder here. Shh. I think I think Ivana and Steph and Steph are hanging out because Steph's like 62. Ivana's like 60. <laughs> Steve's like still chilling. I think he's like, he looks like a monkey or something going around the place on the couch <laughs> and everything. Like, he's actually like... But he's not but a monkey. No, no, he's not. He's cool. I think he's cool, okay? He's, he's been very, very Is creative. Is he cool or a monkey? What's going no, on? He's, no, he's, he's been cool. He's cool. He's cool. Can you see me? Can everyone see me? Yes, we can see you. Don't <laughs> worry. <laughs> you two are unbelievable. We'll see you in a bit, boys. Give him okay. a big round of applause. Oh, George, George, George. George, right. George. Hello? Uh, look who has joined us in the BBLB studio. Celebrity Big Brother's first evictees, Kat and Heidi. Give them some love, everybody. Hello, 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 my love, hello. We're all right? We're good? How are we, ladies? Good. Happy to be out? Yeah. Come on, Heidi, talk to me. <laughs> you a bit tired, my love? A little bit embarrassing there. I've slept off a lot, so I don't know how I look tired. How, uh, how's the last 24 hours been? Um, Good food. Yeah? Because yeah. <laughs> that, that was one of the main problems in the house. The food was not so good, right? The food is awful, but you got a nurse named Vinny. Come on. <laughs> right, OK, so come on then. Talk about Vinny. There was a lot of love going on between you two. Love Vinny. Yeah? Oh, he's awesome. Do, do, you think you'll be, uh, do you think you'll be seeing Vinny when he comes out at all? I love more that he has a beautiful wife. I, I think I that's think, even... I mean, you don't have to necessarily have a relationship with someone if you, if you, if you see them outside the house. You could just, you know, you could just get on well with him. What's the point? Beg your pardon? It's, it's, more, it's ro more romantic he has a beautiful wife. I think that's even 
nice and You can hang out, you can be friends, you can come down, feed the birds. You're right. <laughs> uh, that'd be a nice. You imagine, he, he, was, he liked birds. He was out there feeding the bird in the house in the first week. She was. Katya, how, how did it feel to come out first? There was um, a few boos. It wasn't very nice when you came out, was it? Yeah, so I, but I was thinking about other stuff as I walked down anyway. Right, OK, so, <laughs> so you didn't mind it? No, I didn't mind it. Yeah? Everyone had to leave at some point. No, you're, you're absolutely yeah. right. I had a gut feeling towards the end of the night anyway. That, well, it was time to go for you. Yeah. Really? Uh, have, you, have you spoken to your fella since you've been out? My fella? Yeah, you said you had a boyfriend. Oh, I d I'm single. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> she actually already forgotten this. Boyfriend, what are you talking about? Uh, did he ever exist or...? Oh, it was just... Yeah, but it was so, like, fresh and stuff. It was only, like, a week-long thing. Right, OK. Yeah, it's... So it, it was all right, all right to get the, the elbow, yeah? Did, did you get rid of him or did he get rid of you or...? I think it was mutual. Right, OK. I think he watched the show. <laughs> yeah. So, so then, in fact, we're going to talk about Jonas in a second. Heidi, uh, one thing I, I noticed about you, I, I felt in the house people didn't really know how to get the best out of Heidi. Vinny seemed to know how to, 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 to kind of operate you, but it was almost like they didn't know the right buttons to press. I try to pick a fight with everyone. Right. No one would, no one would fight back. Yeah. So get, you know what we've done, Heidi? We've made a Heidi manual, right? So that, so, so that maybe in the future we can show it to people and then, and then they get you a bit more, right? You want to have a little look at it? I'll take Are we a ready look. for the Heidi manual? Yeah. yeah? Welcome to this instructional video for your new Heidi. To get the most out of her, please follow these guidelines carefully. One, on arrival in her new environment, your Heidi will need her batteries recharging. Let her rest as long as she desires. You've got to change your battery, dude. Heidi's just slept ever since she's been in a coma. <laughs> Two, once fully charged, your Heidi will need constant feeding and watering. Do you want anything before I go in the shower? Yes, thank you, Vinny. God, you're a dream. As without nourishment, your Heidi could become cranky. Stephen is annoying. Alex is very annoying. Jonas is annoying. Stephanie is a bit of an old lady. On occasions such as this, let her rest. Three, give your Heidi regular exercise. Take her into the garden for fresh air and encourage her to play. Go on, go! Go, Heidi, go! Go, Heidi, go! Then, let her rest. Four, engage in conversation with your Heidi. Mental stimulation is important in helping cerebral development and improving your Heidi's vocabulary. I call Stephen a dork. 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 We got super dork. What a dork. Then, let her rest. We hope you have enjoyed this instructional video for your Heidi. We think that over time, you'll find her both satisfying, rewarding, and fun to spend time with. I sleep through anything. anything. Hey? <laughs> Heidi! Do you want to give you some copies of the manual so when you meet new people, you can just hand them over? They know how to work you? They better have a nice pillow, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did, did you enjoy yourself in there? I know you were sleeping a lot, but did you have a nice time? You know, I felt like Charlie in the chocolate factory and I won that golden ticket. It was cool. I thought you meant, like, the, the grandparents in the bed the whole time. <laughs> right. uh, now, uh, Katya, you, you were, of course, involved in the big story in the house. We all love a big brother romance, don't we, everybody? Yeah. Uh, Cat and Bass Hunter sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> uh, we've got your story in 60 seconds, love. Okay. The amazing adventures of Katia Ivanova. Katia enters the lair of the evil twisted Big Brother. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? She quickly makes her move. <laughs> Give your rose to the lady of your choice. Katia decides to go undercover. <laughs> Time to unleash the secret weapons. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, silent. Silent but deadly. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> but her cover's been blown. The person I'm going to nominate is Kat. It takes her whole effort and concentration to put one foot in front of the other. <laughs> Our little Russian is just a user. Yeah, but you probably <laughs> wouldn't notice if Kat was here or not. You wouldn't That's know. what I'm saying. That's the problem. Run, Katya, run! Katya!
show tax, yeah. Uh, do, do you feel that we were able to see the real Katia when you were in there? Um, I would have probably opened up a lot more. I just didn't connect to anyone in there. Felt a bit odd one out. A lot of the conversations I tried to start with people, they kind of just thought, oh, it's, like, boring. Like, they so. weren't into it. No, and I didn't gossip much like everyone else. Have you, uh, have you seen anything that's going on in there since you got out? I uh, watched a bit last night. Did you see Jonas talking about you? Yeah. Yeah? Should we have a little... Should we just remind uh, ourselves of this clip? The way I am attracted to Kat is... Um, it's very special. And it's a feeling that I can't really describe because I haven't really felt that feeling before. Since she went out that door, it's like every minute I think of her. I think I am maybe a little bit falling in love. Oh, how about that, Kat? How does that make you feel, my love? I just want to give him a hug. Really? I wish I'd said bye properly because bye was so quick. I was so. Uh, of course. So, uh, is, yeah. is it mutual? Is there is there a vibe between you two? I'd have to see him outside the house. I couldn't open up completely in there because I don't know. It's just a side. No, but we all come on. We, you're a human being. You know if there's a little bit of a vibe. You know if something's going on there. Yeah, we can definitely connect. Yeah. But yeah, it'd be nice to see him outside. And now you've got your own cigarettes, so you can see if you really like him. <laughs> I, I had loads of cigarettes all day, like two You think it was ago. all about the cigarettes, No, Heidi? it wasn't. Really? No. She, was just, she was just looking at a few, bags, <laughs> a few boxes of fags, yeah? I didn't even have any boxes of fags. All right, OK. <laughs> uh, well, we'll have to wait and see if it happens. Now, Heidi, okay. uh, there was a certain someone who was a little bit sad to see you go on uh, on Friday as well, actually. I uh, love have him. Have a little look at this. Oh, in fact, we don't have a clip of this. We did have a clap earlier. Uh, Vin, Vinny, uh, Vinny was a little bit upset to see you go. Oh. Uh, and, yet he, uh, and yet he nominated you. Were you surprised at that? No. Really? Because uh, uh, the, I did say I want to see my birds nominate me if you're my friend. But, you know, at the same time, I wanted to stay. It was, it was a mixed bag, I think, you know? Of feelings. Right, okay. And, and because look at I obviously can't win it, so it would be like to exit the soonest the sooner the better for me. So you me. think he was doing you a favor? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Right, okay. Now uh, it's been nominations, nominations have been going again. We've got a little clip of, uh, of Nicola now uh, for uh, for round two of nominations. Have a look at this. My first nomination is going to be Stephen. He Oh, I can't explain it, but he's strange towards me. He can be very suggestive at times. I'm not even joking, right? He was sitting yesterday and he was going like this. And I was like, oh, gross. Like, you can't... That's suggestive. And he... He's like a born-again Christian preaching one thing and then sitting there... Did, did Stephen ever go... at you? Steve does some gross things. Right. What, what, what do you make of him? He seems a little bit weird. He keeps on kind of killing the vibe. You know, you're, you're just there, everybody's having a nice time, and he comes in and just start, he brings it down. I'm surprised he wasn't the first one out. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really I, surprising. I think we're all surprised. Yeah. Uh, who would you have nominated then? Because obviously Sov's up again. I think uh, I would have nominated Stephen and Cisco. Really? Oh, yeah. Why Cisco? Yeah, all that dancing and clapping can get on your nerves a little bit. <laughs> and looking in the mirror, and I'm so slick, I'm so cool. You get enough of that shit. Right, stuff. Okay. It's enough of that stuff. You enough know, of that stuff, stuff, right. Yeah. And what about you, Katya? Um, Stephanie and Nikki. Really? Why yeah. so? Um, Stephanie, I just don't like the way she looks at me. I just find her She was snobbing. sneering at you a bit. Yeah, she did a lot. And Nikki, I don't know, I felt... Just the way she talked about me and Jonas, I just thought it was all immature. Like, is it back on? Is it this? Is it that? There's not a lot else to talk about. Oh. <laughs> right, okay. I just, yeah, I just didn't like Who, the pressure. Who's, who's going to go out of Sov and Nicola? Uh, Sov and Nicola? Sov. Probably Sov. Sov. Really? It's tough, though. She's got all those young fans, though. Who's, who's going to win, then, Heidi? My Vinny! Vinny! Yeah. Go, Vinny, go, Vinny, go, 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 Vinny, go, Vinny, go, Vinny, go, Vinny, go. Jonas. Jonas to yeah. win, yeah? All right, we'll have to wait. So give him a big round of applause, guys. Thank you for coming it's time now for a quick break. Do not go anywhere because when we come back, we'll have more Jed Wizzle on the show, guys. Uh, before that, Sof and Nicola are up for eviction. These voting lines are open now. Here are the numbers to call. <laughs> to evict Lady Sovereign, call 090 123230 To evict Nicola, call 090 123230 7 Calls cost 50p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. 15 pence from each call will be donated to Comic Relief. For details and terms, go to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. Voting closes in Monday's eviction show.
People's X Factor champions, John and Edward. I love the fact that they do a little dance every time we throw to them. Uh, now, John and Edward here are not just famous for their beautiful singing voices, but also for their signature haircut of the decade, the Jedward, as it's become known all over the nation. Isn't it a beautiful thing, guys? The George yeah. word. Yeah. Uh, and it would seem that even the Big Brother housemates are taking perspiration from the boys. <laughs> huh? It's good, isn't it, eh? Uh, John and Edward, we've got a selection of photos of the housemates to yeah. show you in yeah. which they are rocking Jedward Barnets. All right, all you have to do is score them Let's... out of five. Uh, we've got some little Jedward stars here to use as a scoring system, all right? Not yet, you don't do it uh, like that. It's not how it's going to work, guys, okay. right? Okay, yeah. Again, okay. it's not how it's going to work. You hold on okay. to these, okay. right? Okay. Let's okay. start okay. up. Right, unruly kids. Uh, let's have a go. First up, we've got Sovereign. Yeah. Uh, do we like her Barnet normally? I think it's really cool that she goes with Whoa. Okay, okay guys. Oh, We've this all way. had a drink. Okay. We've all had a drink. All right, okay. it's gonna be like... I think she looks really cool, and she has like the cringe thingy going on here. Yeah, she's I think got she a bit of cringe. I think she looks like like, like a, kind of like a squirrel biting a nut. Okay, squirrel biting a nut, and then all of a sudden she's in the edgy. house for a bit. Have a look at oh, that wow. hair, guys. Check it out, guys. Yeah. Have a look at that hair. That's kind incredible. Of what do we think? How many stars? I think we'll give her. Wait, this is like ninja stars. She's got she's got good volume there. We like we'll that give her volume, don't we? We're gonna we? give her a three. I think she's got a lot of volume. She's it's, she's just woken up clearly. She looks very tired. We'll give her a three. Right, okay. Uh, then we've got Katya. Uh, do we like Katya, guys? I think it's really, really cool that she's got like, the whole blonde thing going on, like legally blonde. Okay, uh, and, and um, then she's in the house for a bit. It's all looking rather nice and styled there. Next thing you know, whoa, whoa there! Whoa. Huh? It's like good morning, Jonas! It's like a it looks like, looks like she huh? got a perma. I don't know. Score it, boys. Score okay. it. We're right. gonna, we're we're gonna, gonna, uh, we'll, we'll give her one. You'll give be, her one, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Well, uh, one, yeah. Okay, uh, and, and two. Maybe. Go on, then you we'll give her one two, if you want, right? And then we got Jonas, very clean cut, Scandinavian boy. Mm. Uh, he's in the house for two weeks. Look what's happened to his hair! <laughs> oh my good lord! He's huh? Big, I really think he's really trying. I think that he he puts a lot of effort in every single day. He wears his shirt. He wears. He has his to put tie. a lot of effort in for cat. And he gels. He has Jedwards going everywhere. He's got Jedwards going this way. Jedwards going this way. He's got way. three Jedwards. How many? Yeah, how many gonna stars we'll are we going to get? We'll for give that? him four. We'll give him four. That's four, right? Okay. And then Stephen Ball went very quickly. Obviously, likes to slick it back. Usually, he's in the house for a few days. It goes dumb and dumber. Whoa, his hair's like really long. I think, I think, what age is he? What, is this what, a competition for? I don't know. About forty-five. It's a competition for the longest Jedward or a person who has a Jedward. What's that? Because he could have the longest Jedward ever. So he, he could have the eyes. longest. He could have one. It's like covering yeah. his eyes. Uh, now, if, if you can't hear okay. us properly, by the way, uh, at home, guys, we're sorry about that. We're having a few problems with sound. We're trying to get them sorted out. Uh, and, uh, okay, so how many are we going to give him? Five. Yeah, five, you say? Can we give him five. five? Wait, yeah, I, really? I maybe. No, I'll give Joe. I know. Yeah, hey, come on, five. guys. Oh, Jedward are arguing. <laughs> we could be here all night. No, guys. Give it to Jonas. I think Jonas deserves it because he's what? got. He, jo we're going to give yeah. it to Jonas. We're we'll yeah? going to Jonas. We're, we're going to give it to Jonas, one. guys. Five. He's our Jedward winner. Look at that. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Go back to the camera run. Go back to the camera run. Uh, I've, uh, I've got to go over here because we've got to talk to our comedian and BBLB Twitter correspondent Tom Allen. Hello. Oh, Tom Allen. hello. How are, How are you? Nice to see you. Hello, and, uh, Tom. Hello. Uh, you've uh, you've not you've barely had your eyes away from a computer. Screen, oh isn't my goodness, right? I am exhausted. And uh, all sorts of celebs have been twittering about Big Brother. Oh, they don't stop. They do not stop. Apparently, even Katie Price. Even has, Katie Price has, has been twittering about her fellow. What did she say? She said, Katie Price said, My man Alex is doing so well <laughs> and miss him so much. So proud. Wow. Giz, giz, giz. Uh, well, that's very sweet, isn't it? Isn't it? She uh, must really love him. And we, uh, of course, she does. Uh, and, uh, and we just found out that she wrote it. Uh, just after she saw this, actually. <laughs> oh. Oh. They're being cheeky. <laughs> yeah, they're being cheeky. Right. Are we gonna oh. give them? What a tweet, eh? Yeah. Ah, come on! Hey, hey, hey. Ah. What else, or, or rather, who else has caught your eye? Well, there's been a lot of talk about Alex, actually. I guess, you know, everybody loves a cage fighter. Yeah. I never met a cage fighter I didn't like. Um, Simon Pegg says, I genuinely think Alex Reed could do incredibly well as a cross-dressing cage prayer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, th <laughs> I, I think that's on the that's cards, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's on this card. Uh, Gary Lucy <laughs> says, <laughs> says, Big Brother is hilarious, which yeah. we, all know, we all know. Of course this. it is, of yeah. Of course. I feel like digging an escape route for Alex. Talk about push to the brink, lol. Huh? <laughs> uh, which I wouldn't have considered as a laugh-out-loud moment. What, somebody being pushed to the drink? 
to the to the brink. Oh, the, to the brink. brink. Sorry, right. But okay. either way, yeah, not yeah. really. Uh, and David Schneider, David Schneider's even drawn in. Uh, he says, "All I'm saying is, when Alex gets out, Katie Price will crucify him. Seems appropriate." He says. Well, indeed, his career <laughs> do does think? seem to come back from what the do dead. We think? How, is it all gonna? Is it gonna be off when he gets out, guys? Yeah. Kill him! Kill him! Uh, and you've got you've got some more there, don't you? You've got one from Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross says, "Am I alone in thinking that Channel Four should keep CBB going?" Damn oh, right, not you're alone. not alone, Jonathan. You're he not says, alone. He says, "This is not me. This is not me looking for. This is not me looking for work." BTW, huh? which I think it might be, uh, but it's a fun show, which we know. And oh, and the last one is from Boy George, who I know we all love, and he says CBB has been like Lord of the Flies this week, which is quite frankly ridiculous because it's based on George Orwell's 1984. We all know that, right? Of course they do. And um, he says bored and hungry brings out the beast in everyone. I think um, he must have been pretty bored and he pretty must hungry have been. recently. Tom, Tom Allen, everybody, give him Thank a big you. round of applause. Right, let's go over here. Uh, Jedward, are you there? We are here right now. Get back in the camera, run. Yeah. Can you guys hear us? What's that? What's happening? Hey, right now we can the... hear you, don't worry. Right, right now we're here, okay? And I just thought about it now, okay? You know Vinny? You know he's into soccer and everything? He's wearing basketball shorts. Yeah, yeah that's all right. Better... Okay, but anyway, right, you right now... You don't just have to be into one sport, guys. What? Everyone's, like, cleaning. Like, right now, only the boys are cleaning and the guys are cleaning. Like, where are the girls? Where well, are they? They're probably... Be... Well, no, anyone can clean, okay, guys? We're not making any... Like, it's no big deal, okay? Like, we don't mind... If girls clean, guys clean. We don't... <laughs> everyone cleans... They don't mind who cleans. Yeah. Like, right uh, at the what, what, what's happening right now? Who's in there? Who's is that? Is that uh, Stephen right, or? Right now, Vinny's there, Dane's there, and Steve's there. Can you hear what they're talking about, boys? I can't hear them, but I can, I'm very close and I can see them. But I have to be real quiet, or else they'll hear me. And they're like, "What the hell is that?" And I'm like, "They start gelling their hair." And, and where, yeah, they're like you too. Where, where's think, everybody else? Um, I don't know. I think. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! It's, oh. it's pointing at the camera. All right, quickly! Out you go, boys! Out you go! Out you go! Come out! Come out! Come out! Evacuate! <laughs> right, uh, it's time for a break. Uh, join us in part four when Jedward will be jumping on a mobility scooter and taking part in the BBLB Granny Challenge and singing Ghostbusters. Don't miss it. <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother. It's Sunday, it's sunny. We're Jed Wooded up to our eyeballs, so we thought, why not get Jed Wood to compete in a special BBLB challenge inspired by this week's OAP task? This is how it's going to work. BBL's B's very own Granny Ina will start the race. John and Edward will mount their mobility scooters there and there. They will manoeuvre around the specially created Granny Annex course. They'll go in and out of the chicanes. They'll then get off their scooters when they arrive at the OAP buffet table. They'll then take a shot of liquidised breakfast, lunch and dinner before running on to this bowl of dumplings. They'll have to root around in here and try and find some false teeth. Then they've got to sprint to the finish line where the first John or Edward will settle down in the comfy armchair and tuck a rug over their knees to be declared the winner and the lucky winner will win a signed photograph of Brian Bello. How about that, everybody? Excited? You should be. Uh, guys, do you understand how it's going to work? Yeah. yeah. Yes, all right. Uh, Eno, whenever you're ready, my love, set them off. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Come on, then, guys. Quick, quick. Come on, come on. It's a race, guys. It's a okay, race. Okay, okay. Come on, John. John's flying away there. Come on, guys, quick as you can. Oh, oh, we let a crash. <laughs> Deducted points, Edwards. Whatever. Come on, they've got to go back round that. Oh, Edwards, uh, right, come on, John, quick as you can, quick as you can, John. Let's have a bit of jeopardy. Oh, oh, no. It's like, it's a knockout. Come on, then, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Right, John's there, he's at the bolt. He's having a shoot at that. I wonder if that's breakfast, lunch, or, uh, or dinner. He's doing that, he's having another shot. Quick as you can, Edwards. Oh, he's, uh, he's, he's three shots down. He's into the dumplings. Come on, John. John's flying through there. He's got to try and find... He's throwing the dumplings on the floor. Try and find the false teeth, John. Try and maybe look towards the back if they're not on the front, mate. Right. Oh, there, oh, oh, that looks awfully like them. Quick as you can. Quick. And he's racing. He's got to get there. Put on. Sit yourself down. Oh, oh, here we go. Right, it really has gone. It's a knockout. Does anybody want to win this? I don't know where it is. I don't know which one's which. Oh, hang on. Right. It's John. John's our winner. John's our winner, guys. Uh, there you go. Right, beautiful. John, take that, mate. That's your prize. A little signed picture of Brian Bellow. John, 
Oh, oh I always mate. wanted this. Yeah, I've always wanted, wanted this. this. I've now, always wanted the hey, sign photo. Boys, now, uh, Lady Sov uh, was saved from eviction and is still in the house. But here on BBLB, we want to know what Sov's like in the outside world, living her life as a rude girl grime MC. So we sent Bello out to see if he could become a hip-hop artist with the help of Lethal Bizzle. Take a little look at this. Right, Lethal Fizzle. What's happening, oh, brother? Tell me about it. Honestly, time, brother, you're a cool dude, and I want to be a bit like Lady Sobber in the ass. Are you a gangster rapper? I'm a rapper, singer. Can you teach me how to rap? All right, you know what? First of all, you gotta get the swag on that, bruv. Like, yeah, yeah, and I, 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 you I got lose, that. You gotta you got, you got lose all this, bruv. So I come get some new friends and, and you take me from there, yeah? Yeah, bruv. You know what, get the swag on point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can work with that. See that? See that? Nah, like, you gotta get some attitude on you, because you're a bit yeah. nice, you get me? Like, oh, yeah. you gotta be on this thing. I love my people. They love me. On this thing. I'm on this thing. Get me, blood. No, 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 So, yeah, bam, you got the attitude, you got the swagger, okay? You get me? But when you're greeting me now, yeah. get your hand like this. Yeah, like yeah. that. And then, you got a click. Ah, oh, yeah. my finger. Yo, okay, you got the swag, you got the attitude. Yeah. Nah, it's the most important, you gotta hear the bars. Zoop, 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 zoop. Yeah, I hope that you dig. When this comes on, look after your wig. You don't wanna come and violate with the kid. We can go for a walk in the park like gigs. Mm. Zoop, zoop, zoop. I'm back in the building, listen to the kids. All got down on the real. Cr- cr- we get down on the rock and dance floor. Done Hear me now, when they grab a girl, grab a boy, come on, girls. We get down on George Lamb like it's tough. We're on BB and we love to left. And Vinnie Joe's gonna bring it down like more. Vinnie Joe's and we got a bit of Alex Reed and we heal me Creed. We're on the girls and we're on the boys and we love them. Being on the dance floor. Hear me now, and you know, hear me roar. Jump up, 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 the floor. Rock, 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 rock. Come give me more. Come give me more on the Sylvie Big Brother dance floor. Pow! Essex, we oh yeah. Lethal Bizzle, thank yeah, you, pal, for done teaching though, me, done honestly. Done I feel like I'm better than Lady Sovereign right now. Good to see you, man. See you Keep up the good work. See this Lady Sovereign, love me, hate me, I'm still an obsession. <laughs> Love Big Brother 7 and I love it tough. Nicholas T and she's the hottest stuff. And I love Billy Shopping because she's rough. We all love Billy Jones, he's a man. And we got Kate Fight, Hot Alex Green. And we all know that on the Bible. The Bible, Steven. Wanna be me, wanna be me, wanna be Face Hunter on TV. Just gone, Heidi and the Katia. Got a bit of kid, Katia and I go. One new, one two two. One give me more, Billy Jones, dark floor. Stephanie Cutchin out of Pels. And we got Dead Red on the show today. And Jordan, go, 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 go. Blazing up this musical set, why not check out the BBLB pop charts? <laughs> so it's Sunday afternoon, it's Channel 4, it's BBLB chart time. Straight in this week at impressive number 98 and celebrity Big Brother's very own bass hunter with All I Ever Wanted. It's the second time this single's been in the top 100, having previously made it all the way to number one. But beating Bass Hunter by one whole place and banging into the charts at number 97 is Bass Hunter's housemate Cisco with the thong song. Another re entry for this single, last in the charts back in 2001, where it got to number three. Will the man baby song be as popular a decade on, or will the love six Swede reign supreme? I don't know about you, but I can't wait to find out. We'll see you next week on Top of the Bebop. <laughs> And that's nearly all we got time for. Our Sunday service is almost done, uh, but no BBLB is complete without a highlight of the day. So if you need it, blow dry it, you know, make your bangs. And if it is a little longer, it's when I give you the scissors. I can, I can do it for you if you want to. Yeah. You do the same, you do it thinner. And I'm afraid that really is all we've got time for. But before we go, I want to hit you with one last exclusive. As we know, Deadwood are probably the most famous twins on the planet. But what you might not know is there's actually a third Jedward, boys and girls. Yeah, these twins are actually triplets. The third Jedward likes to stay out the limelight, but for one day only in an exclusive BBLP, uh, he's agreed to join his brothers on stage for a special version of Ghostbusters featuring Baldwin. Please give it up for the third Jedward. It's Brian Wood, everybody. Yeah. Right, uh, thank you to all our amazing guests. Uh, for all of that, there were nice for Jedward. Don't panic, don't be popping up.
Mark and Bibi on the all this week. That's right, it's going to be Jedward week. Boys, take it away. Yeah. Do this. Strange things. The bird keeps flying, son. And that'll work itself out. Or I'll slay them, slay them, slay them. And it's very deep, very deep, very deep. With the diseases and terrorists and this and that, you think you can just get a freaking chicken, put it in the backyard, it lays an egg, and you can eat it? In the neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! And it's something weird, and there's nothing else to In the neighborhood, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! 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 Ghost